In the heart of the old Jajpur town in Odisha is the temple of Goddess Biraja that is considered one of the most important Shakti Peets in India. What makes this shrine so important is that it gives its region its distinct identity as the Biraja Kshetra or the land of Goddess Biraja. We take you on a divine journey. This magnificent idol of Goddess Biraja is venerated by lakhs of devotees who visit the temple each year to seek her blessings. Sculpted out of black stone, Ma Biraja is depicted slaying the demon king Mahishasura who is in the form of a water buffalo. As the priests offer prayers and offerings to the goddess, you cannot but help feel a strong divine presence here. The Ma Biraja temple in Jajpur is one of the most important Shakti Peters in India, where goddess is worshipped in form of Shakti. Two enormous lions welcome visitors at the temple's main entrance. As you enter the main courtyard, you will see the main temple along with a number of smaller shrines and temples around it. The most important among them are the 18th century temples dedicated to Ishaneshwara and Bedinatha as well as a temple dedicated to Lord Hanuma. Passing another courtyard where priests perform rituals, you will reach the main sanctum sanctorum of Goddess Biraja. The history of the temple goes back to far antiquity. Historians believe that site first emerged as a religious site during the 4th century CE in the Gupta period when the Tirtha on the banks of river Baitarni became important. As the Shakti worship or the Devi worship emerged in the 7th century, the site transformed into the Ma Biraja temple. According to local traditions and the 11th century text Tantra Chudamani, following Daksha's Yagya, pieces of Goddess Sati's body fell from heaven to earth where different Shakti Peethas emerged. Goddess Sati's navel fell in the Utkala kingdom on the banks of the Vaitarni river and so the temple is also called Nabi Gaya in reference to Goddess's Nabi or navel which fell here. It is believed that offering a pindadan here to one's ancestors gives them moksha. Every day you can see a number of priests performing rituals for pilgrims who travel here from across Odisha. A grand temple dedicated to Goddess Biraja was built here during the rule of the Somanshi dynasty in the 11th century. Jajpur served as their capital and during their rule a number of grand temples and ghats were built here, only a few of which remain today. The present-day structure of the Biraja Mata temple was built by a local zamindar named Sudarshan Mohapatra in the 19th century. Today, the Biraja Mata temple is not just a religious shrine, but a symbol of Odisha's rich cultural identity. So do undertake a divine pilgrimage to the Ma Biraja temple at Jajpur. <laughs>